All right, guys, good news. I got my car started again. It's running fine now. Awesome. All right, let me tell you guys what happened, all right? So, basically, yesterday, I was parked at a Wendy's, right? Went in to get some uh, crispy chicken sandwiches, came out. I was, like, ready to go. Try to turn on my car. I only parked it for, like, freaking, I don't know, like, maybe, like, 10 minutes at most. I was, like, trying to get it started, and it didn't start didn't start i was like what happened what happened it didn't start it's like i got in right the remote worked i got in everything else worked normally i heard all the chimes the rings and everything and uh radio blasted well not blasted but the radio was on low motor was blowing the dash everything worked and i was like oh man uh it's not starting. It's not cracking. What's happening? I heard nothing except for a click. Didn't hear anything but a click. So it started worrying me. I was like, oh, okay. I was I was inside for 10 minutes. I left it. Turned it off. Left it for 10 minutes. And now it's not, it's not cracking. I was like, possibly. Let me try it a couple of times. Try turning it on a couple of times. Trying to turn it on 10 times. Every single time. Click. 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 And it just would not. Would not turn on like it did last time. I'm like what the hell man. It didn't turn on like last time. Because uh, this isn't the first situation that this happened. Because I had. At least a couple of situations over the last couple months. Where I wasn't able to get it to crank. Same scenario. Um, everything worked except it wouldn't turn over. I'm like, it wouldn't turn over. But every single one of those times, the last couple of times, you know, after like maybe like five, six different tries, I was able to get the car started. I was like, probably some battery issue. I'm not sure, but it turned over. I'm not going to investigate it too much. Right? So I was like, it turned, you know, once it turned over and then it worked good for maybe a couple of weeks and then it did it again and then was able to turn on. I'm like, oh, okay. <clears throat> but this time, stuck in a parking lot, nothing. I was like, oh, okay, nothing. So here's what I did. I turned on the headlights, went out, checked the headlights to see how bright they were because if they were dim, I might assume that it's the battery. They weren't dim. They were super bright. They were super bright. I was like, okay. I don't think it's the battery. Because. Because. Um, if it was battery. I would at least hear like a little bit of a crank. A slow crank. Soft crank. Something like that. I just wouldn't turn over. I was like, okay. I'm going to do what I did last time. I, I, I opened up the hood. And I was like. I'm going to wiggle it a bit, wiggle the wires, wiggle the terminals a little bit, which I did. I wiggled the terminals. And it didn't work this time. Unfortunately, it didn't work this time. All right. There was um, some white bluish corrosion on both the terminals and they were loose. So I was like, okay, okay. What I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some Coke, Coke that I got from my order at Wendy's. I'm going to pour some Coke on the terminals just to clean it up. Had some napkins on me. Pour some Coke. Pour some Coke on the terminals. Fizzled up. Took my napkin and pretty much cleaned up the terminals. Popped it back in. And now I didn't tighten it because I didn't have the wrench and the, and, and, and the, uh, and the socket to tighten it. But it was tight enough. It was tight enough. All right, tight enough where I was getting electricity, but look, all, sometimes it, it that could be caused because it's loose, but not this time, I don't think. Anyway, try to turn it on, and still had the same situation. All right, no deal on that. So I was like, I was asking a couple cars. One, there's this one guy 
who, who was okay with giving me a jump, put the cables on and try to turn on and still nothing. Waited two minutes with the cables on, turn on, nothing. So I knew it wasn't the terminal that was the problem. So at that point, I was like, all right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate the help. Uh, I, I, I am now, I, I can now determine that it's probably not the battery, A. I can determine that it's probably not the alternator, B. Chances are, if it was the alternator, the car would have jumped, it would have turned over, it would have worked. But once, once the terminals were, once the uh, cables were taken off the terminal, it would have died out because the alternator wouldn't be charging the battery. Not the situation here. Not the situation here. All right, so on to the next, on to the next thing that I checked was uh, the ground wire. Now I checked out the ground wire, uh, and it was the negative cable to the frame of the car. Normally, the ground wire is the negative, the the, the cable to the negative of the car. So basically, I checked the ground. The ground was connected, uh, wasn't loose. Wasn't rusted, wasn't corroded, nothing like that. So I was like, okay, not the ground wire, probably not the ground wire. Uh, I don't have a voltmeter to measure that. So I was like, okay, okay, got back in my car. I'm like, think, 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 what could it be? You need a quick fix. Let's see if you could get a quick fix out of it like last time. Try to turn on about five more times. Nothing. Still hearing that click. Got a bit fainter as I tried it. All right, so let's see which e- what kind of easy fix I have left. So I was thinking maybe it's the fuses, maybe it's the relays. So first thing I said, maybe it's the relay. But here's the thing about it: uh, most of the time, if you hear a click, it's probably not the relay. It's probably not the relay because because uh, because if you hear a click, that means the relay is working. It's actually relaying electricity from the battery to the relay to the alternator. For the most part, it means that it's working. So I, I, I had to rule that out. Still my car, still thinking, and I think maybe it's the fuses. Now, I've, I don't have a fuse. I didn't have a fuse, test, fuse tester on me. So I was like thinking to myself, if it was the fuses, like, like I've only had a couple instances where a fuse would cause my car not to start and not crank. Uh, one of those situations was uh, had a no start, no crank situation where one of the fuse that was blown was either to the car's computer, the PCM, or to the fuel pump. I forget what it was, but once I changed out that fuse, in that situation, the car would crank up. Everything would work. It would crank, but it would not turn over. Once I replaced that fuse, it turned over and it worked normally. All right. This is not the situation, obviously, because I'm not getting a crank at all. Everything else works, but I'm not getting a crank at all. So I'm thinking to myself, is it possible that it is? uh, No, no. I'm thinking to myself, wait. What about the other situation of the fuse? All right, the other situation was with the fuse that I experienced was I had I had a Honda, and uh, I was getting no electricity uh, in the car whatsoever, no electricity, nothing like like as if the battery was removed, right? Nothing turned on, no sounds, nothing. It turned out that 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 the problem with that was it was the main fuse to the fuse box that was blown, and the the, the way that I figured that out was I had I happened to have two screwdrivers and I connected to the two metal ends of the screwdrivers uh, from where the terminals were on the on the fuse and it got the car to turn on and start etc cetera, etc cetera. but that's not the situation here because I am getting everything to work except the fact that that it won't crank so I had to eliminate those two things those two things so. So unfortunately, uh, all those quick fixes, because there was an auto zone around the area, which I could have walked to and, and gotten the fuses, a relay, uh, a battery, um, whatever. Uh, none of those situations was the cause of this no start. So at that point, I'm like, what are the chances that it could be the starter on the car? Because... 
here's the thing. I've had these situations before where the starter went out. And I was thinking to myself, scratching my head, because the starter was changed out about a year ago. I've only put, a, put in about like 9,000 miles in the car. I'm like, all right, it can't be the starter, all right? I, I, it was a rebuilt starter that I purchased from AutoZone. It can't be the starter because I only put 9,000 miles on it. These starters are supposed to last over 100,000, 125,000, a lot longer than that. But I figured that maybe it was possible that, you know, when they rebuilt the starters, they only changed up the parts that were... Uh, that was broken and then kept the rest of the other rebuilt, kept the uh, rest of the original stuff in there. So I was like, and then it popped into my head, maybe it's the PCM, maybe I'm having this computer issue, which I did not want to have, which is like the worst situation, maybe worse than uh, replacing a starter if that was the situation. So I'm like, all right, I have a, a $19 OBD2 scanner. Uh, most of the times these scanner will not pick up issues with no start issues all right not not the 19 dollar ones anyway so i popped it in and it connected to the car's computer read out everything there was no codes no issues etc etc just like what i thought uh and uh figured out that it was not the car's computer that had any kind of issue connecting to the um to the rest of, of the car so i was thinking to myself okay okay so we got that sorted out and I am thinking at that point that it was probably the starter and I probably have to replace the starter again. But I wasn't 100% sure of it. So anyway, two hours later, I waited for, uh, for um, uh, AAA to pick, my, to pick my car up. I, I waited two hours for AAA to pick up my car. All right, AAA picked up my car and had it towed to my house where I went through all the different steps of checking out all the fuses, the relays, the grounds, just double checked on all those things that I knew probably was an issue. Uh, tried bumping the the you know checked out the voltage on on the battery, which was a hundred percent. It was like twelve point six twelve point seven volts. So at that point, I knew for a fact that it probably was not. Any of those things, it was probably the starter. Took out the uh, starter relay, tried to bump it, tried to bump the starter to see whether the starter bumped or not. Uh, there was a little pin test. You guys don't know about that. You guys could go and check out a video on that. Did the pin test where I connected the you know two terminals and it did not bump. Did not bump. Once it did not bump, I, I was like 99% sure it was a starter. Went and took everything off, got to the starter. And uh, pretty much connected uh, a line directly to the uh, solenoid terminal. Direct connection to it. It did not bump. It did not start. So at that point, I knew that it was 100% the starter. Took the starter out. Went to AutoZone. Had them retest. Had them retested, which was had them tested out, and it was the starter. It didn't work. It was broken. So. Um, so ended up, it's a hundred percent warranted. Uh, they swapped it out and I could have gotten a brand new starter, but, but, um, didn't want to pay $300 instead of getting one for free. Took the chance anyway, got a, um, got another rebuilt one for free, popped it in and guess what? Bam. It actually worked. It worked. All right. It turned on. It worked. And uh, it turned out that it was a starter. Now, uh, if you guys are in this situation and, uh, you know, go down the list of what I pretty much, the diagnosis, the troubleshooting that I did on my car. 99% of the time, you guys could probably figure out what the issue is with your no start situation, which I'm pretty sure that's why you guys are here for. Anyway... It turned out that it was the starter. Um, hope this has helped you guys out in some way. Um, if you guys want to leave a comment in the comment section, as you guys, a lot of you guys love to do, please leave the comment in the comment section. Um, please give me a thumbs up. And on top of that, um, what, what else? 
uh, please subscribe, guys. If you guys haven't subscribed already, hope this really hope that you know whatever situation you are in right now. Hope this has really helped you guys out. You know, go through those steps that I I pretty much detailed as far as trying to you know troubleshoot the situation. Um, hopefully, one of those steps, particularly one of those earliest steps, the easy fixes uh, solves your issue, guys. All right, all right, guys. Um, take care.